Okay, question number nine from the paper two of February, March 2020, IGCSE paper. Um, question nine, part eight, it's asking us to factorize completely and they give us this expression to factorize. So here we have um, two terms and we have to, when we're factorizing, we're trying to take out or find out what the common factor is. So you see there's a number three and there's a 12. Three is a factor of both three and 12, so you're gonna write that number out. So you've got three. And then you can see what's common in both terms is an x. So three x is a common factor. And then you open your bracket and you say, okay, three x times something gives me three x squared. Well, that must be x. Three x times x is x squared, three x squared. And you've got um, three x times something gives me negative 12 x, y. I have a negative four, that gives me the negative 12 part. And then we've got a y. And there we have, it's factorized completely. 3x times x minus 4y. And there's the answer, simple as that. The reason it says completely is because there's a factor of a 3 and also an x in there. Okay, then it says expand and simplify m minus 3 times m plus 2. Well, if you use the pattern, it's going to be slightly different. You're going to have m squared um, and then you're going to, with the pattern, there's two different ways of doing it. One, one, one is knowing the pattern. When they're both the same letter like M and M, not it's one M and one M or one X and one X, then you know that that's going to get squared. And the middle term will always be this number and that number added together. So minus three plus two is minus one. So it's going to be minus M. Okay, the middle term will always be the sum of those two. And the last term will always be the product of those two, which is minus six. Okay, if you want to do it like in the long kind of way of doing it, you've got m times m, which is m squared, and you've got m times 2, which is 2m, and you've got negative 3 times m, which is negative 3m, and negative 3 times 2, which is negative 6. So you have m squared minus m minus 6, m squared minus m, and minus 6. So you can do it using the pattern, which only works, by the way, if it's a 1 and a 1 here, 1m and a 1m, okay? If it's a 2m and a 1m, then that doesn't quite work. All right, now, that's the answer to question number 9. Okay, number 10, I'll put on the next video. Uh, thank you for watching.